the, the internet is fantastic if you want to get information uh, about anything in the world from wherever you are, and also to get access to uh, old information that could go back many decades. Um, but if you should try to get some information just about an event like this, um, you would um, have to go to the EIT digital pages, click a few times to get to the program, right? You would like to know where the restrooms are, facilities around that. You would have to go to some other place to find that information. Um, if I would like to browse the profiles of you who are here, I would have to identify you and find you on LinkedIn or your, your home web pages and, and see you the, um, in those locations. Why couldn't I have a system which just provides whatever is relevant for being here and now? And that is what we have done in the Moses project. We have aimed this at experiences, at certain events, but uh, we have developed a generic system that can be used for uh, providing information of where you are at a certain moment. The Moses Project is run from Alto University uh, by my colleague Jörg Ott. He uh, recently relocated to Germany, to is now a Technische Universität München. Uh, we also have project partners at uh, CNR in, in Pisa in Italy, Ericsson, uh, Boy Ullmann again is, is the partner here. Futurize, which is a Finnish uh, company, SME, in uh, the field of uh, web design, uh, technology design, um, user interfaces. KTH represented by, by myself. Uh, Six represented by Anders Lindgren, who I think is uh, yeah, over there. Um, and uh, Jose Kangasari of the uh, University of Helsinki. The two companies that we have is both Futurize and then we had a tender for uh, participation from, from uh, small companies and, and a company called Space Time Networks in Finland uh, joined, joined our consortium. So the whole idea is to be able to share experiences of some sort without resorting to cloud-based or, or infrastructure. So we could share experiences of being here and now. I don't know what it would mean right now, but you could take a picture of me, for instance, and you could share that with everyone else who is here. may not be very interesting, but we hope that there are locations where it would be more interesting. So you would have local relevance to what, whatever is shared has local relevance. And you get the natural filtering because uh, only what is here and only those who are here would, would be provided with the content. You could localize it so that it doesn't spread if you go outside the room, for instance. Um, there is also a possibility to uh, combine this with a regular uh, mod, uh, mobile communication system, a 3G, uh, uh, 4G system, uh, where you can get offloading. If um, uh, we would all like to, 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 to look at one video, it may be enough that the, that the single user here would download the video and then it's shared locally in the space where we are. So, so in that way you can get offloaded. But that has not been the focus of the project uh, this time. We, we looked at more the local uh, situated communication. So this illustrates the app that, that uh, uh, have been used in, in um, uh, two trials. Um, it allows you to, to uh, create cards. These cards are like Facebook entries uh, where you uh, post something, and, but the card could also be a post of yourself as a person, that I'm here, this is my profile. In this context, I'm interested in the following things. I'm interested, for instance, in making good contacts for research projects with Telefonica. Yeah, this is what my prime goal today. Uh, something like that, right? And, and these are the cards that we showed. Uh, and, and uh, the type of, of uh, uh, interest could be uh, to find out what's happening here and now. Uh, uh, you could share infrastructure, it could be a big screen event where we could all join in sharing this event, maybe take turns and we show our holiday pictures on, on the common screen. Uh, navigation, uh, like being here and trying to find the restrooms or find a restaurant or, or something like this. Or uh, similar to the navigation, when you arrive to an event, you know, you get all the, the sort of uh, infrastructure information you need when you come to an event. Uh, one of the uh, trials we made was at the Expo in, in Milan this year. And of course, when you get to, to the Expo, it it's, could be very confusing, a big area. And then when you arrive, you could get relevant information that, that here is what's happening next, or here is what's happening close to you where you are. So you, you get the chance of starting to navigate um, into the space. 
we have worked together, not the entire consortium, but, but uh, in, in um, and the uh, kernel of the constellation for three years. Uh, in the current constellation, the Moses project's been running for two years. The previous one was called Monk. Uh, in the Monk project, we did the basic development, leveraging the carrier projects that, that the different partners had in order to uh, uh, build up a common view on, on how this type of opportunistic uh, situated communication would work. And we did some pre-studies that we then carried into the uh, project during last year. Last year was, was mainly design study, both some analytic studies and also design studies of how the system would be uh, formed and, and the application, uh, which was not available from, from the 2000, 2013 project. We also started to do business models to see uh, a system of this sort, would it be interesting, how, uh, how would it be used, what would be the uh, potential uh, business cases for, for the uses that we have. And then during this year has been very much focused on the trials that have been conducted. Uh, and, and we're not continuing uh, in the ERT digital context next year. So we started from the, a demo system that we developed uh, last year. And uh, this year we had to sharpen it and uh, strength test it and, and revise it and, and go through it several times over in order to make it ready for, for the two uh, trials that we had. Uh, the same system has been used in, in two events in Italy, the, the Expo 2015, as I said, and also an event uh, conducted in Pisa. The, in the project also, we've also participated in the Fallen Ski Race, uh, but, but it's the same demo that, that was, was shown by Shell. <coughs> uh, and uh, I believe also that it will be shown at the uh, EIT Digital Results Day, uh, which I believe is next week in Trento, but I'm not uh, fully uh, sure about that. Uh, you, you could extend the, the functionality uh, of what we have shown by, by including it so that uh, you could have connections to Facebook and other social networks and uh, media streaming support. And we have done a pre-study showing that it's feasible to do media streaming in terms of music streaming uh, in an opportunistic manner just between the devices directly uh, without any infrastructure support. Uh, I don't think that video would work well, but that music worked well because you typically <coughs> listen to music as a playlist, and this playlist could, could be collected uh, in the place where you are. So, uh, the work has been structured into uh, four different stages. We started with uh, a system performance aspect to see whether the, the proof of concept uh, prototypes that we had would actually work in real settings where you have potentially, or hopefully, uh, large interest that many people would like to use the system. Uh, it's a matter of efficient discovery of devices and connecting devices, uh, and its scalability, as I said, if, if the many users. This led into to, uh, the functional design of the application and the system itself, and testing it for robustness, which is a concern in, in most wireless systems. And then planning for the trials, and now we're in the phase of wrapping up, so we do the evaluation and we do some business conclusion based on the, on the uh, experience we've got during this year. So the uh, system design was to analyze the scenarios and uh, find out what would we like to demonstrate, how should the application work, what functionality do we need, what are the performance requirements, so that we could uh, take the, the system that we had and, and make it ready for the trials. Uh, once that was done, uh, we, we need to test the system. And in the next uh, two slides, I will show you how the system was tested uh, before the events, where we didn't have a crowd and, and we had a controlled setting uh, for, for testing uh, the robustness and, and also the structure of the system. There's been implementation of the features that we identified in the first stage there that we will need. And then uh, we are now uh, um, uh, looking at, at evaluating how well that, that has been working. So the, the whole work, the practical work, has mostly been done by futurized and space-time networks. 
Um, it leverages a, a, a carrier called SCAMPI, an EU product SCAMPI that has involved uh, both CNR and uh, ALTO. And uh, Helsinki University and the KTH has been providing background studies on, on the feasibility and the performance of the system. So this is what we try to represent here in, th in this graph. So before the, the actual trials, we had to have a system that we could trust would be working in a, in a real situation. So uh, we built up a test bed uh, existing of uh, test clients connected via Wi-Fi access point to a star node. So, so the content would be generated by the test clients. These will represent the mobile users that would share experiences. The experiences would be sent to a star node and the star node would, would, would mirror back the experiences to the users. The test bed was done by 50 Intel Edison uh, nodes that are similar to Raspberry Pis that are maybe uh, more better known. And here it, it's tested in an in a, 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 a environment where, where there's no external radio interference coming into the system. So we know that whatever works and doesn't work is at least uh, due to the system itself and not due to any uh, external uh, pro, um, interferences. Um, some details on, on, on uh, how the system then was, was uh, determined that, that uh, it's running in the star topology and so forth, but, but I think we can skip that. So we needed to continue with application development. As I said, the, the, the first version was already done during last year, but now uh, it was um, uh, uh, further developed so that it would be useful. It was tested. Futurize is a company which does commercial app development and user interfaces and so forth. So, so they uh, had their skill to see that we get a system that is attractive and useful uh, in the trial settings. And we also uh, developed a system so that we could leverage um, both uh, uh, I should say the system is, is developed for Android. So uh, to support iPhone users, uh, we use that, that via web interface. So the content is shared to, to a local web server and uh, those who, who work on app phone can, uh, iPhone can get access to the uh, events via a regular browser interface. This allows also that the events could be uploaded and made available outside the event uh, via regular uh, web server. The one trial which was done on the NetInf platform, which was, was different platform than what the one was used in the, in the Expo and, and CNR trials, uh, was uh, mentioned by Bachel, so it's the same uh, experience. At the Expo, uh, we were present at the uh, Italian register of the IT domain, uh, and uh, we were, were there for almost a month, from the end of May until the end of June. And there were first two events that were uh, confirmed, but, but eventually there was only one event held. The impression uh, was that uh, the users who tried the experience sharing app, they were happy with it. They uh, uh, saw it as different from the regular uh, Facebook posts uh, um, and that they, they realized the value of having something with local, local relevance and uh, a local presence. <laughs> they uh, asked some other functions that were not in there, such as taking a picture directly from the app and posting it uh, locally to people around. Um, and uh, we, we got support for uh, considering that this is, uh, this is something um, that would be a distinct addition to the regular web-based or um, um, social networks such, such as Facebook. To make up for the missing event at the Expo, there was an opportunity to also have trials in, um, in Pisa at an internet festival there. So it was conducted in the same way as at the Expo. It was a smaller audience and uh, uh, our colleagues at CNR ended in the last point that they were not right, uh, 
whether there was the right audience that was there um, at this event. So what I hope will be uh, handled it will uh, be also a um, presence at the results day in Italy, um, says the second week of December. So we have learned a lot in this project. We have learned how to design a system that is robust uh, for event sharing in, uh, that is localized. We have seen uh, that there is an interest for it that users see it as distinct from the other apps that they're using, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. And we are now trying to summarize our experiences from this year, from the system development, from, from background studies, from the user experience, and uh, some business modeling that has been on in the project to, to uh, conclude uh, with a report to, uh, back to the EIT Digital from this project. So we believe that we have explored a paradigm which is different from the regular internet experience. And um, it's still understandable for the users. They quickly jack into what we try to provide and they see that, as, uh, that it has its own value. It's very important to, to really delineate what we provide, our experience sharing, from the experience sharing you do by posting to Facebook uh, and to make sure that it, it, it's something that could be temporary, it could live as a bubble here as long as people are here, but it could also be that when we depart from a place there's no trace of, of the, uh, what the sharing that was going on in the place. Of course we see that there have many different other uses than just ex sharing experience at events like uh, uh, trade fairs or, or uh, nightclubs and parties um, and have more industrial uses or, or more business type of uses. But we are happy with the two years that we've had to, to work together in this project. And we think that we've come quite a long way from something that was a, quite a researchy topic of opportunistic communication among devices over to something where we have uh, real business cases and experiences from users. And we are confident that uh, this new mode of communication will be interesting for the future. Thank you.